guys, and welcome to the replay. It's Late Night Chonkin'. Are you guys oh my gosh there's so many of you in here hi laura hi julia hi joyce hi don marie hi cal i hope you're enjoying hi angela hi Rhonda. hi mary hi melissa hi pam hi vicky hunter hi Anna alicia hi christina just finished my wine wednesday chalking yay hi joyce hi jen gentry <coughs> hi lucy how are you hey michelle how are you Hello, Laura Woods. Good evening. Oh, Jen, you are so cute. Thank you. Hi, Kathy Rose Stanley. Tell me, I was gonna say, tell me I didn't bring my water up. I'm like parched. Hi. How are you, Cal? Hi, Patty. You paused Grey's Anatomy. Aw. I love that. Well, guess what? This is gonna be a lightning quick project. And you know what? It's going to be a super fun and easy project, too. Um, I'm going to be playing with the Corner Market Collection chickens. Now, if you recall, I used this one time on my pillows, uh, my pillow that I put in my living room. Well, now I kind of need to have one for my kitchen area. And I've started decorating all those metal signs. So I was like, uh, chickens need to happen now. So, hi Sharon Tinsley. I feel like I've been missing you lately when you go live. Glad to see your face. Ah, you're so cute, Jen. Hi, Kristen Dang. Hi, Jen Martin. I know. Well, you know, I feel like I have a second wind because I've been running like ragged all day. Um, I wish I could, I should have sent the picture so that way I could have put up for you guys. Um, my guy, my contractor guy, he's starting my gallery wall. Um, I wasn't happy with the green all over that we put and I wanted the wood to make it look like an accent one that like a cute accent wall and I wanted the rustic look so he's starting that um and then just with uh we got all the things with the exception of one package out for the Watts of Love Chalkathon and then other packages for customers that were asking for things so it's been a day um and then our microwave broke last night so I had to go and buy a new microwave ugh that was the worst so you know Hi, Jacqueline. How are you? Hi, Jan Martin. Hi, Donna. Hi, Penny. Hi, Pam. Hello, hello. So if this is your first time catching me live, never caught me live before, uh, put a one down in the comments below. If you are currently aware of Chalkatour, um, but you do not have a designer, um, put a two down below, okay? A one or a two. Um, hi, Kim Holbrook. Can you use ink on everything like the chalk paste or just like for fabric? So, Julia, you want to use the ink on things that you can heat set to be permanent, whether it's in an iron or, or an, with an iron or in an oven. So, like um, canvas bags, uh, T-shirts, onesies, tea towels, um, uh, hats. They would all be heat set with an iron. Ceramics, like mugs and bakeware and whatnot, those would be heat set in an oven. So those are the things you can use the ink with. Everything else, I would suggest you use paste. Um, just because it will likely, you know, run. You were a freaking rock star. Aw, Jen, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Becky. Thanks for watching me live. Hi, Jackie Holmes. Thanks for catching me live. Hi, Karen. So um, before we get any further, one, if you have not gone up and done the little thumbs up for my page, please go and give it a thumbs up. Follow me. Um, I am sure to make a mess of something 
and you guys will get to catch it live. So it'll be fun, you know, just follow and turn on notifications. Um, if you're on Facebook, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe and turn on notifications to my page. So there's that. Now, for those of you who are totally unsure and unfamiliar of what Chalk Couture is, here's a little something I'm going to pop up on my page while I get everything ready on the back end um, for you guys to see. Hi, Karen. Hi, Lisa. I know. I love that there's so many new people. That makes me so happy. So, so happy. Now, I'm going to be completely oh, the camera back I'm gonna be completely boring tonight you guys will probably be like girl you're like living off black I get that but I've been doing the white and black enamel um and I even have and I'm gonna show you guys on what oh darn what did I do with it <coughs> oh I it's over on the other side I have this cute little basin that I'm gonna use at my sink that I'm gonna faux enamel it faux enamel it with white and black ink uh, white and black, yeah, painting ink. So um, I'll have to show you how that's going to look. So we're, we're sticking with the white and the black here. I may even do some faux enamel to this uh, little cutie here. So um, hi, Norma. Oh, hi, Lana. How are you? Hi, Eileen. Hi, Roberta. How are you guys? Um, as you're coming in, bottom left-hand side of your mobile device is that share button. I would love it if you click share. So let's get going, shall we? Now, I have already used this transfer once. And it turned out super cute. I can't even show you guys the pillow because it's already packed away in for my event that I'm leaving for on Friday in Maryland. So, um, I'm just going to show you how super cute it actually is. Oh, okay. So, because I'm doing this on this metal surface, this transfer needs to be fuzzed, okay? Now, you will also notice that this transfer is a larger transfer. Now, what I like to do with these larger transfers is flip them over so that they're on the carrier side up. Now, I have already used it, so it's already been labeled. If you have not used this transfer before and you're just pulling it out for the first time, you need to label it before you peel this off. So that way you know the right way to put the carrier sheet back onto the holder, okay? This is the paper side. This is the glossy side. You can see it, okay? So for the bigger transfers, what I like to do is using one hand, peel my carrier sheet off, and then I will, oh, it's like, why is it stuck, hold on, it's like stuck on there, good, there it goes. Um, I like to use the one hand to peel it off because, or peel it from the, I totally said that wrong, sorry. Now, guess what, now I'm starting to get tired. Um, I like to take the carrier sheet from the transfer because when you take the carrier sheet from the transfer, two things, one, you're not gonna it, okay, because you could stretch the transfer if you're pulling the transfer off the carrier sheet. Two, you're running a less likely risk of having it fold onto itself. If it folds in itself, do not panic and start yanking it off. Take it from me. I've done it. I've learned. You're only going to stretch and distort your transfer and likely wreck it. Quickly submerge it in water and lightly work it apart. Lightly take your time. It might take you five or ten minutes, but it'll be fine. You'll save your transfer. So now... We're going to go ahead and we're going to use the fuzzing towel and we want to use the side that looks like rough as opposed to the side that looks smooth. Okay. The fuzzing towel is 12 by 18 inches. So it's going to fuzz up. Our size C transfers very nicely. Okay. So I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to fuzz it up real good um, because it needs it for the metal. Okay. I think because the metal is considered non-porous, is that the word? I might even be using that term incorrectly, but it's crazy sticky. There's your scientific word for it. Crazy sticky. Okay. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Siege. Hi, Iris. Hi, uh, I chucked the chickens earlier today, too. Don't you love them, Penny? Hi, Jamie. Hello. Hi, Shauna. How are you? Can you use antique laser wax over the piece to aid your distressed project? You probably can, Rhonda. I've never tried it. I'm thinking, though, if you do do that, you're going to reactivate the chalk paste, and it will likely get... It will not... It may not work out right. So maybe don't do that, actually, now that I think about that. And this is still sticky as heck. Hold on. Really? Uh, that was not a smartest move that I could have done just now. The 
problem is, is it, it's sticking to my glass when I do this too. There it goes. That could be just about perfect. Oops, got some bumps in the legs. Okay, now if we have bumps anywhere that is not a silk screen area, it's really okay, okay? Because the silk screen area is the only place we care about those bumps. Because if we have a bump in the silk screen, it will likely cause a bleed. If we have a bump in like over here, it doesn't matter. That does not matter. see bumps. There it goes. I think I worked them all out. Nope. There we go. Now I think we're good. And that's okay. That seems to be okay. I think we're good here. So we got our sweet little chickens. Hi, Cat Right. Hi, Stacey Pete. I bought some of the distressing wax tonight. Jessica, I'll try and let you know. Awesome, Karen. Definitely let me know. Uh, da, 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 da. The chalk melts. Yeah, there we go. See, you don't want to do it. That I am not surprised would happen. Okay. Um, you don't want to do anything that is going to cause the chalk paste to get wet again and reactivate, right? Hi, Sharon Oaks. How are you doing? Sharon, did you ever get your towel? Did it ever come to you yet? I hope it did. If not, you'll probably be getting it any day because I mailed it for sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and put a bunch of chunks of chalk paste on. Okay. So that way, I'd rather have a little too much than not enough. Nothing is worse than <laughs> not having enough when you're trying to, like, move quickly. All right, so now I'm going to use the small squeegee, and I, oops, and I am going to pull the chalk paste across my design. And I'm also going to watch my fun weight sweater here that I'm wearing. I'd really rather not wreck it. Lord knows I wreck enough clothes. I would prefer to not, not have it happen to this one. I definitely used a whole hoop of way too much chalk paste. Let's put it see that way. Wow. Zer. And sometimes you really, really don't want to put too much chalk paste on because what happens is, is it begins super thick and then it's like not fun to clean. Let me just tell you that much. So make sure you're really, oh boy, I just found a ton of bumps. I was just thinking in my head, how did I get so lucky and have no bumps? Well, I had a ton of them. Okay, so wiped it all off, got all my excess off as best I could. Hopefully, where I'm seeing those bumps, it's not in the silk screen area. I'm going to take my time, and I'm going to pull it back. Okay, we don't want to stretch, so we want to pull from the center. And we're golden. Check these little chickies out. How fun are they? They look like they were made for this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Oh, I'm so glad, Sharon. I was hoping you got it. Have you tried it on wood? Now I'm scared. Oh my gosh. I've done chalk. Oh, the antique lays. No, I have not done it on wood. I've chalked on wood. Um... And squeegee would be great. I've done it on wood. That works, but not perfectly. You have to keep and take away from chalk. Gotcha. Pen, I need your secret. <laughs> yes. Okay, good to know. I'm chicken now. I don't want a railway project I made to sell. Gotcha. Isn't this so cute? Didn't this turn out adorable? I love it. And what's good is that where the bumps were in my silk screen, thankfully... They were not in the silk screen area. They were just on the green area. Isn't that perfect? It is enamel. It's enamel, Blondie. Welcome. I don't think I've ever seen you catch any of my lives. It is enamel. 
And this matches the enamel milk can that I have, the enamel long, long signs that I got, that I put the milk jug and all the other things. This is going to go with my new kitchen decor perfectly. So I wanted to get this done. And I wanted to show you guys because, like I said, I did it on a pillow. But that's already packed away, so I can't show you. So this one is just as good. How easy peasy was this? Easy peasy. Doesn't it look like it was made for this? It's perfect. Guys, if you have not tried Chuck Tree yet, you seriously are missing out because you will feel like a pro in one second. Seriously. Uh, another project. <laughs> Will the transfer he is risen fit inside one of the wreaths? You know which one it'll probably fit inside? The, uh, what is that called? It's the two, it's not a wreath. It's like the um, double something. Oh, I can't figure that out. Um, darn, I can't think what it is. Um... Lisa, message me that question, and I'll look up the transfer I'm trying to think of, and I'll message it to you. Uh, I'm going to set by my boards, but not have that. Oh, Iris, you'll have to let me know when, because I go away this uh, weekend. Go on in order now. You'll get them. You will get them in time, I promise you. Um, let's see. It's a heat tool. It's like embossing gun. Check it out. Oh, yeah, this is just an embossing gun. Yeah, that's all I use. Hi, Nicole. Uh, Laurel wreath. Thank you. That was the one I was thinking of, I think. Yes, Diana. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Nikki Morris. Yay. Laurel wreath. Yes, yes, yes. So this one is done. Um, I know there was another project I wanted to do and I was thinking of doing it tonight. I don't think it's going to look right, so I'm not going to do it. I think it's because the, it's not going to be the design. It's going to be the background. That's not going to look right. So I'm like, hmm. I think I'm going to hold off. I think I'm going to hold off. I could do another one. But you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to save it for tomorrow. It's always good to come back and check out what else you can do, right? Hi, Nikki. Diane got it. Yes, that was it. Laurel wreath. <clears throat> so, um, let's chit chat, huh? So, if you are not already working with a Chalk Couture designer, I would love to be your designer. I would also love to invite you to my VIP group. Please no designers. We are no longer allowed to have designers in our VIP groups. I hope you understand. Um, so if you would be um, interested in going to my v VIP group, just comment me right down below. In my VIP group, I have special offers, bundle deals. I do a, my own monthly Chalkbox subscription completely separate from our Chalkbox exclusives. Um, and I have over 400 chalk tour videos, uh, in my VIP group. So you'll be bound to find some sort of inspiration. Um, what else? Wait, why are we crying? Do no, do it please too early too quick. <laughs> I would love to, but in all seriousness, I have to help the kiddo study. Um, I promised him as soon as I was done my live, I would, I would get on and help them study. That's why this was a fast one tonight. Um, but I will be in Maryland, Iris. I have a three day vintage vibe event. Um, so if you're interested in that, comment me down below. If while you were watching, you said, you know what? I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to build my empire. I'm ready to purchase a business in a box for $99 and get over $240 worth of product. If you're interested in that and now is your time to do it, I would love to be the designer you join under. I would also love for you to comment join down below because then I will message you the link to my opportunity group where I have a video that's about 20 to 25 minutes long, but it's going to answer every single question you have. I guarantee it. Um, it's chock full of info. If you had that question, guaranteed someone's asked it and it will be answered in there. Um, I would love for you to join my team. Um, whether you want to earn extra money to pay for soccer practice, basketball practice, ballet lessons, um, help with your family food bill, make an car, extra car payment a month, put money aside for college, or just save, now's the time. Please come and join right down below, and I'll message you that information. Um, last but certainly not least, guys, um, if you are interested in getting your very own amazing monthly subscription uh, for only $19.99 plus tax and free shipping. Come right to your door, a size B transfer and three chalk paste packets. I think you should do it now. You can comment Club Couture down below or you can go right to the link that's mentioned down below and get signed up. It's a minimum commitment of only three months. After that, you can completely back out. But 
$19.99 a month is nothing. And it, like I said, free shipping, everybody loves free, right? So um, I would love for you to uh, do that. And then once you join, you have the ability to add our Kickstarter kit, which comes uh, with over $76 worth of product for only $70. $76 worth of product for only $69. You'll get our porcelain steel magnetic chalkboard, our 8 and 9 by 12 frame, which is that top left-hand side. Um, you're going to get a board and base, a multi-tool, a small squeegee, a two-pack of board erasers, and a three-ounce bright white chalk paste. Um, everything that you need to go ahead and get your chalking done. So that is it, guys. Hi, Jen. Hi, Jody. Hi, Jan. Isn't it awesome sauce? I love it. Can your mentees get your chalk boxes? Well, Rhonda, you really don't want my chalk box because if you're my mentee, you'll understand why you wouldn't want them. Um, there's a good reason for a mentee to not get them, I promise you. Uh, but you could definitely have, I'll let you know what I put, put in the box every month. So that way you can order for sure. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That was a 20-minute live. That is awesome. I really hope you liked it. I enjoyed making it. And I will be back tomorrow night with another super fun project. I promise. All right, guys. I will chat with you all later. Take good care. Bye.